The Circle City Classic football game did not disappoint today with Kentucky State beating Central State 17-14. to Before the game, another big tradition, a huge crowd lined downtown streets for the Circle City Classic Parade. Eyewitness News reporter Matt McCutcheon tells us how the popular event adds to a weekend designed to make a difference in our community. Circle City Classic! The 33rd annual Circle City Classic started Saturday with a massive parade winding through downtown streets. Okay. Well, you'll find a lot of Hoosiers here. People come from across the country helping to make up the dozens of floats and entries. Eyewitness News is proud to be a part of it with her own Andrea Moorhead, Steve Jefferson, and Emily Longneck are taking part. Bands, of course, are a big part of what you see and hear. Uh, we practice a lot. Ten-year-old Taviana Greer is part of the Boom Squad band performing in front of an estimated 100,000 people. We wanted to uh, get a good spot so that we can see the float, see the bands, which is why I came, the music. Dana Gates got her spot early. And a game of cards helped pass the time. We want to make a big day of it anyway since we're going to the, uh, the game afterwards. The morning parade leads to the afternoon football game, a tradition as Central State University plays Kentucky State University. While the football game is important, education is the focus. I got out of the military, taught school for 20 years. High school, ROTC. This is gratifying because of what we have. Since 1983, the Circle City Classic has raised more than $4 million in scholarships. It needs a lot of support and exposure, and we get out here and, sh and show that. And it's a good thing to see everyone together having a good time. It's representing a good cause. Matt McCutcheon, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.